The Radio Whammo Breakfast. Get smart. App reviews to win friends and impress people. The mobile phone app review right here on Kiwi that lets you know what to put on your mobile phone because there's so many applications out there. I was talking to someone the other day and um, and they said they've basically got nothing on their phone because every time they go into the app store, um, they're, they're just dazzled. Bedazzled. That's <laughs> Too a much word. choice. Bedazzled. I think that's something else. Anyway, bedazzled. Uh, Tom and Alistair are along, though, to help us out some with uh, apps on the Android and also the iPhone as well. Alistair. Hey, well. G'day, how you doing? Good, thanks. How are you going? Good, man. Tom, hi. Hi, Tom. Hello, guys. <laughs> hi, everyone. Good to see you again. We're all, all back together. Oh, the oh, gang's geez. back. Yeah. Isn't that nice? The app gang. <laughs> <laughs> the app gang. Maybe that's what we should have called the show. Yeah. yeah. Mm, maybe not. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> so what do you got on um, the Android? I've got an app today for the Android called Unified Remote. And um, basically, it's a remote control for your computer. You still install the server. It's oh. a tiny piece of software on your um home PC or whatever, and then you can control a mouse and keyboard and media players on your computer. So wow. it's pretty cool. Um, at home, we're, I've got a um, computer plugged into our TV in the lounge, yep. and so we can just play movies, like bought DVDs and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, sure, yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like your media centre, you've got a media yeah, centre. Yeah, plugged exactly, in. yeah. yeah. Um, and so you can just um, scroll through TV shows and all that sort of stuff, but you can also browse the web, use the mouse, um, browse through all your files using the Explorer function. Um, well, so it's an it's, app that seems really cool, but actually has a practical it use. Actually, as has well. a use. Yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> I never thought there'd be one. It's yeah. not just a crazy game. Yeah. Um, it'd be really handy for um, PowerPoint presentations yeah. um, because you know you, you, the coverage of of the remote, I suppose, is limited. Uh, is only as limited as your Wi-Fi reception. Yeah. Um, so it's really easy to set up um, and just really handy to use. You can so on, on, on Windows machines? Uh, yeah, as far as I'm aware, it is. Yeah, only Windows. And so basically your touch screen is, is, becomes almost the mouse? Uh, yeah, it's it's the controller. So you, 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 you um, choose either the mouse or the keyboard. You can't operate them both at the same time. Mm. But say when you're in mouse mode, um, you just it's just a blank screen on your phone mm. and you just move your finger around and it moves the mouse on the screen, tap to click, Um double tap and to scroll. That's great. Oh, so, yeah, yeah that's, that's really handy and um, certainly a lot of practical uses, uh, especially if you've got a media centre yeah. Yeah. at home. And so, do you have to be on your Wi-Fi network or can you yes, go on another yeah, Wi-Fi Yeah, it has network? to be on your Wi-Fi network. Okay. I'm not sure. It might might work um, using the 3G connection. I haven't tried it out. Um, but it's ideally meant to be done at home. Yeah, at home. Another yeah. location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Is, um, it, is it free? And it is free, which is incredible. You can donate um, as well, and I probably should. So use a fair amount. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> You're donating um, and spreading the word. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, yeah. exactly. so it's um, unified remote. It's really cool. Brilliant. Okay, off, of we're off to the Nokia now. Come over here to the Nokia. Um, what have you got for us? I have Skype. Cool. Hey. Have you heard of Skype no, before? I've never heard of it. <laughs> tell tell <laughs> me about this Skype. Oh, well, I think I think most people are aware of Skype on on their computer. That is being able to um, talk to um, other computers anywhere around the world, other people, hopefully on the end of those computers yeah. for free, or f- to um, to phone um, using uh, using Skype as well. You can phone landlines and mobiles yeah. at yeah. cheap rates. Google have just bought out a um, bit of a competition to that as well within within Gmail. Yeah. But um, but Skype have been at it for years, and so they've also got a head start in the um, mobile arena with this as well. And mm-hmm. they've got apps, obviously, for a- Android and iPhone, yep. and also Nokia as well, which is really quite re- refreshing. So yep. um, I've been using this for the past um, past few weeks because at home I've gotten rid of the landline and I've gone yep. naked uh, on, yeah. at home. Yeah, well, you know, um, the, the the landline sits there and it's usually... Use it, yeah. the only and people it's expensive. That, yeah. Expensive. You pay yeah. line rental for nothing. Yeah, and the only people that use it are um, marketers who just want to yeah. phone you during <laughs> yeah. dinner time, right? Yeah. Um, so so um, I've, I've installed it on on here and... It, and I was really surprised because this this particular Nokia doesn't have Wi-Fi. It, yeah. it only accesses the internet through 3G. Yeah. And I was thinking, oh, you know, through 3G could be a little bit could dodgy, slow, could yeah. be a bit of a delay. Um, I've been testing it, and it's just like making a phone call, a normal phone call on your mobile. It's pretty yeah. amazing. So Except can you only call Skype? Um, other people on Skype, or is it kind of a Skype app? And you can um, you both. You can oh, uh, right. use it as Skype out as well, so you can phone landlines, landlines yeah. and mobiles. Probably at a cheaper rate yeah. than what you already have on so your mobile plan. Yeah. Or yeah. So you, you need Skype credit, of course. You need a Skype account. Using Skype credit, and you're yeah. also using your data. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, okay. But if you've got a good data plan, like a um, one gig or three gigs yeah. or something like that, it's, be, it's pretty minimal. It's minimal. Yeah. yeah. Um, plus, you can also do the chat features on Skype as cool. well. So you can chat for free. You can mm-hmm. send SMS messages as well, yeah. um, all using your Skype credit. And um, because I don't have that landline at home, I've also bought. 
a, um, a number off Skype, an right. Auckland number, yeah. that people can phone me on. That's good. At the moment, That's I've good. only given it out to my mum, yeah. uh, <laughs> which is nice. So she can phone... We're getting a lot of use then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she can phone me on that number, and that will mm-hmm. ring anywhere that I'm logged in on my phone That's cool. by Skype. So she thinks she might think she's ringing me at home, but I could be somewhere else. Yeah, you're out at the pub. Exactly. <laughs> you could be on Stewart Island. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mum. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Um, yep. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, cool. so um, Skype. I, I Skype. totally recommend it, the mobile version. Check I'm it out. guessing it's free for um, Symbian too. Absolutely free. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Uh, Tom, what's on the iPhone iPod Touch? I have got Engadget, which is uh, the app version of um, Gadget Magazine. Great. Yeah, so um, you want to find out the latest news about what's the latest gadget. has all the reviews, has all the prices, and um, also you can put in your own review, which I think is really, a really good feature. Yeah. So currently I'm l- looking at the kind of the iPad uh, tablet style of um, technology. I don't want to get an iPad because it's, you know, it's, it's lo- too locked down. I prefer the Android versions. Y- yeah. And there's lots and lots of different versions at the moment. Yeah. So um, you go, just go through here. You can do a search function of what, um, what you're after. And it pulls up a review, and then you just literally read the ones you want, and it'll take you to the website. This is handy because um, often, like, sort of electronic purchases are almost impulse. Yeah. Like you yeah. might you, you might have come across a bit of a cash one week, and then you're out shopping. And you go, oh, I really yeah. want that, um, and you don't normally make a wise choice. So you if you can no. just quickly get on your mobile, research it quickly. And yeah. 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 And also, if you do buy the buy those kind of things <clears throat> at the main high street stores, you pay a lot more than mm. what you would pay if you bought it online. Yeah through online shopping. So yeah, I, I like the feature that you can just read these reviews as you're going and, and get the best advice from these people who know what they're talking about as well. So it's really good like that. And it's got some videos, demonstrations, it has pictures, the full specifications. And you can also interact with it by um, giving your reviews. There's a podcast and there's um, also other little hints and things they can they like to share with you. So it's, nice. a, it's a good application for, um, for latest technology. Cool. In gadgets. In gadgets, yeah. E N gadget. That's on the um, iPhone, iPod Touch. Thanks, Tom and Alistair. Cool. Um, what do you reckon? If people have got their own apps um, that they use on their their phones and they want to send it on through, we should leave it up to hear them yeah, get in touch. And, and review them as well. You can email studio at qefm.co.nz. We'd love to hear from you. But that's been episode 10 of Get Smart. We'll catch you next time.